So I gotta do that starter bracket right now. I gotta pull the wheel, actually. I got one different size lug nut. I forgot to buy one of the auto parts. One lug nut's different, and the guy let me use four-way, and it doesn't go on deep enough. Oh. So this is it. The last of the Corvair parts, all the specialty tools. Jigs are set up in place so you can see how things work. We got our Corvair trailer. A lot more complicated than it looks to put a front and a back. Emergency brake. I like that emergency brake. Jack stands to hold it up so you can rock and roll on it. Yep. Corvair trailer. It's cool. Stainless steel. Oh, the whole bottom is all uh, inch and a, is it inch and a quarter square tubing? It might be inch and a half. I don't inch and a half. Yeah, I see. I didn't. I never looked underneath. There's a bunch of in drops my brother got from where he worked for like six bucks for it. Yep. Yep. They just throw it away. I went to Junkyard in Phoenix to buy a few odds and ends for my trailer. The guy says, I'll oh, just take it. Yeah. They ship off trailer yeah. loads of steel. What's I just I do the same thing. Go to the steel yard and take the whatever drops off in the that bin. Is, that is a stainless peg there. Yeah, I saw that. I did see that. All right, we got some beautiful Corvair parts here, but we got to get back to work on our T-Ruck. Price is going up because it's last minute, like the airlines. <laughs> I, I, I like you, Corvair guys. He took 25% off, so yeah, that's a pretty good. Deal. After he added 30. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having a good time with the toss. All right, next step: starter reinforcement bracket, piece of angle iron with two holes in it. Got the bolts out already. No corrosion. This one goes into the starter. Pretty Mickey Mouse, huh? goes into the block. And the bolts are there, but the bracket wasn't. Usually you just take the bracket and you just go whoop, slip, spin it out of the way a bit. So I'm going to put it on, but you're not going to watch because it's buried. Let's see. Bottom bolt goes there. Upper bolt goes on top of the starter. And I'll get it done. It shouldn't take too long. It's just a struggle to get in there and spin the ratchets. Look at this. Brake hose. Cracked. Nice. Very nice. All right, the bracket is on. I just got to tighten it. What a struggle. There's a heat shield for the starter that goes behind the bracket, and you got to get it lined up, and then it stops the bolt from going in. And uh, anyway, I just got to tighten it up, and my starter will be triangulated. Oh, what a chore. Missing the plastic shields and all kinds of stuff. Crack. Pretty straight though, try to look on the positive side. Bumpers trimmed for oversized tires. Not a nice job as I would have done, I would have gone down a little straighter. Anyhow, gotta get a brake hose and Moog tie rod end. Not greased though. Who knows when these have been greased. So tighten everything up. Idler arms probably loose. Vacuum pump chunk. Well, we stumbled across a former General Motors mechanic, and he clued me into the ways of the world. My friend that I'm traveling with, Billy, was just telling me he had a problem with his daughter's Camaro fuel pump. He pulls the fuel tank, puts a new pump in, doesn't work. He says, check behind the battery. So we, look. we look at the cover, and it says ground, fuel pump fuse, fuel pump relay. So with two minutes left on this chip, watch this. I just learned it lesson from an expert former GM mechanic. Here's the fuse for the fuel pump. There's the fuse. Just push it against any one of these positives. A little spark. There's the fuel pump. Brrrr. Fuel pump really is not working and they're all the same, all the GMs. Got that fuel pump cranking away. Brrrr. Should be primed by now. Let's see how she starts with the fuel pump. Pumping into the injection pump. Got glow plugs. Even though it's 80 degrees here, another perfect day, not a cloud. They're all back east. Crank her up!
seem to start any better, but at least we know the fuel pump is running now. So I'll go to the junkyard. Let's open seven days. Get a relay. They're all the same in all the GMs. Cut a few extra wires off. Would have been nice if it fired right up, wouldn't it? This one. Fuel pump is just in the middle of the frame on the in the frame on the frame. Listen. You heard it, huh? That's a good thing. Fuel pump is right there somewhere. Anyhow, fuel pump relay after all this wasting my time.